the Afro-Latin identity is characterized by social and self-racial identity. Specifically, blacks of Hispanic descent are a reflection of a historical marker in the Americas today. But what does it mean to be an Afro-Latina in America to those that identify and feel the connection to their Afro-descent? that I'm Afro-Latina, a lot of the time they're like, okay, what is that? They don't, they're not familiar with it. In the U.S., Latinos with Caribbean roots are more likely to identify as Afro-Latin or Afro-Caribbean. I am Cuban-born, uh, though there's a mixture, okay, like a lot of the islands. On my father's side, we're Jamaican, okay, my mother's side, Cuban-born, and uh, a mixture of races, black, uh, white and Asian, so I do consider myself uh, uh, an Afro-Cuban. Uh, so at the root, it's always the same thing. You know, you hold fast to, to your 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 um, the place that you're born, okay, and you follow those customs. But with the emphasis that yes, I'm Cuban, but I'm also black. Generally speaking, if it's someone white and they look at me. They just assume, oh, black. They don't assume that I'm Latina. So when I tell them, there's this shock of like, what? I would have never thought you were Latina. Versus if I'm dealing with people, with black people, automatically they somehow know that I'm from somewhere else. And then if I tell them, oh, I'm Afro Latina, then they're like, oh, so you're not black. I've switched in the last probably 10 years. Before I would say I'm Cuban or Cuban born, okay? And lately more I've identified more or emphasized more I'm Afro-Cuban, you know? Uh, especially with uh, people who are American. With Hispanic, it's not such an issue. Uh, Hispanics, whatever nationality, understand the diversity within each country and they understand yes you can be colombian and you can be black or you can be panamanian and you can be black or dominican and be black uh with americans you have to clarify it. definitely in the latino community once they find out that i myself am latina i feel that there's more acceptance because at first when they're just looking at me they don't know that i'm latina so they're kind of set kind of a distance but then once I let them know oh yes my parents are from Honduras all of a sudden there's kind of this different sort of dynamic going on versus in the black community once they find out that I am a Latina I feel as if they no longer connect with me in that sense and they're like oh well she's not black she's different she can't relate uh, a lot of times I get and my children get, oh, but you're not black, you're Hispanic. And the clarification has to be there. I'm both. I'm Hispanic because I come from a Cuban country, but my race is black. They have a hard time um, accepting or understanding, okay? In their minds, it's, oh, Hispanics are white or light skin, uh, they don't associate as they are black Hispanics as well. In some instances, you know, uh, once they know that I am Cuban or Hispanic, oh, oh, but you're different. My thing is, well, if I were in a room with 
20 other black women, you could not tell the difference if I'm Hispanic or not Hispanic. You know, the first thing that you're gonna see is my, my skin color. When I open my mouth and I start speaking, that's when it clicks in. So sometimes I see like a more acceptance with a Hispanic when they know that I'm Hispanic. And sometimes I see like an awe when the room is uh, uh, black. It's like, oh, but you're different. I go, why am I different? I go, I'm still black, either way you look at it. You know, but if I don't open my mouth, I am still black. My daughter uh, was saying, you know, uh, Antoinette says that I'm not black, that I'm Hispanic. And uh, I said, well, Antoinette, what color am I? Black, I said, what color is Elisa? Black, okay, because we're black. Much like code switching, Afro-Latinas may need to learn to ethno-switch in order to experience and relate to the Hispanic and Black culture in America. Well, generally speaking, my parents would probably prefer for me to also like date someone of Latin descent. Um, they feel like since there's a difference in cultures, that it might kind of create an obstacle and make it harder to make it work. They're not necessarily as open in that sense. <laughs> well, generally speaking, they don't necessarily consider me black all the way, despite the fact that phenotypically I am black. They they would identify me more as Hispanic and they know that there are differences in cultures. They make jokes about the fact that I might not eat like the same way they eat collard greens and all of that. <laughs> so it's still like I'm still kind of learning about the different dynamics and like what it entails to be to expose myself to like American type culture. When we came here, uh, my father was a political prisoner to start off with, uh, Cuban born, but uh, Jamaican descent. So when my father immigrated to this country, he spoke English and Spanish, which gave him an advantage here. Uh, he did experience racism because we were only allowed to live in black communities in Overtown at the time. That's where Hispanics, and uh, definitely blacks were allowed to live. You were not allowed to live anyplace else. My father always emphasized education is key, okay? He only went to eighth grade, but he spoke and read English and Spanish. So how can Afro-Latinas progress in the United States? Uh, don't try to fit into a mold that other people think that you should be in. The key thing is be yourself, express yourself, okay? Uh, don't underestimate your abilities and don't let anybody else underestimate your abilities. You're a talented person, you're a unique person and that's what you bring it to the world and that's what you show and that's what people will see. I definitely feel, I, I feel like there should be like more events kind of showcasing it, embracing it because I feel like even in the Afro-Latina community, I feel as if a lot of them aren't as proud to say that they're black. They're more inclined to identify with just the Latino aspect of their of their ethnicity, of their identity. So I feel like just having more people embrace the two and kind of create more of an awareness would help in people understanding what it is to be Afro-Latina and like kind of creating a familiarity with it. So I feel like it all, all starts from the home. Um, it all starts from not setting those stigmas or expressing those kind of like generalizations towards one type of people, one race of people. So I think it really, it all starts there. But I would say that I am somewhat at an advantage when they do know that I'm able to speak Spanish and that I am a Latina and that I'm able to connect kind of to both black and Latino people.
Yeah.